In continuing coverage tonight, a recent string of vandalisms across America has zookeepers on edge. We've told you about the incidents at Dallas where a man confessed to stealing two monkeys from their entrapments. Today, a man was arrested in connection to the kidnapping of 12 squirrel monkeys at a Louisiana zoo. Just yesterday, the Houston Zoo learning someone intentionally cut a hole in a brown pelican habitat and an owl is still on the loose in New York City after vandalism was reported at a Central Park Zoo. These incidents of zoos in East Texas taking extra precautions to keep their animal friends safe. Our Jesus Martinez spoke to an official at the Caldwell Zoo in Tyler who shares their strategy to avoid vandals from messing with their enclosures. Packed full of experience and incredible staff. Incredible staff and incredible animals. <laughs> Elephants, flamingos, giraffes, you name it, they probably have it. There's over 100 acres and there's over 3,000 different animals at the zoo. It's a real amazing zoo for the town the size of Tyler. And for Paul Swen, brand director of the Caldwell Zoo, keeping all these animals safe in their habitat is priority. If these animals get out, they're not going to get the nutrition they need. They're not going to get the temperatures they need. They might not get the humidity they need. The Caldwell Zoo is accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums meaning it's proven to the association that they're doing everything they can to keep the animals healthy and safe, including having 24-7 surveillance on ground. It is about the comfort and the nutrition and the health and the well-being of the animals is always first. Which is why they aren't dealing with any monkey business after two monkeys were stolen at the Dallas Zoo last month. And most recently, a four-inch hole was found in the mesh surrounding the brown pelican habitat at the Houston Zoo may even be exotic pet trade. Um, there's a black market for many animals and they're sold um, for profit, which is disgusting. In its 50 years of being open, the Caldwell Zoo has only had one incident of stolen animals. Over 30 years ago, where some monkeys were stolen. Eventually, the squirrel monkeys were returned to safe and sound, but it was a lesson taught for the zoo on how to better keep the animals safe. And Tyler, Jesus Martinez, CBS 19. The Caldwell Zoo says every animal has a custom-built habitat to keep them safe depending on their size and habits, which is why they're redoing their South American habitat to better fit the needs of those animals.